Okay, good morning everyone and welcome to Senior Strength and Balance. Uh, we'll be working with weights and therabands so that you'll get a thorough upper and lower body workout. I give up. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Take it up and in, 
facing the floor, you're going to crisscross, two, three, four, lift, delt work, and in, and up, and in, and one, two, three, four, take it up. Now make sure that the palms are facing the floor and the elbows are lifted, but you don't want this kind of thing. It's got to be from here so that you get up into this region. Up and pull together. And one, two, three, four. Lift the elbows and bring it in and lift. Good. And in and one, two, three, four. Lift and in.
we go.
seven, eight, and exhale down. Okay, very good. Let's do some chest flies. Elbows into the ribs, weights face each other, and open and close. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's do some bow and arrows. So feet a uh, little bit apart, not, not a whole lot. We're going to cross and pull back bow and arrow style. Two, like you're elbowing somebody out of the way. Three, <laughs> four,
to the side, lift, abduct, in and down. Two, three, four, to heal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, we're going to swing to the side. Lift and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. And if you can't get the leg up for eight counts, you put the toe here. So we swing out, we 
circle around to the back, diagonal lunge. All right, now shift that weight to the standing leg, lift, and one, two, three, four, and down. Pretty good. All right, let's try it again. Ready? Leg back. We circle to the front. Bend. Come back to center position. Circle back. Diagonal lunge. Come back up. Shift that weight to the standing leg. Lift. And one, two, three, four, and center. Good. All right. Now we're going to do some quad work with balance. So we're going to place one leg ahead of the other. We lift, we hold, two, three, four, swing side, two, three, four, swing back, two, three, four. All right, so you've got the weight centered in the back heel here. When it comes to the side, you're full on the foot. When the leg comes to the back, you're shifting the weight to the front. So that is a shift from back, side, front. All right, you want to try it? Yeah. Okay, so look on, no hands. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four, shift side. Two, three, four, shift back. Two, three, four, and center. Very good. Can you feel the actual shifting back, center, front? If you can't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> when you lift here, that weight automatically comes back into the heel. See my toe? I'm actually able to lift that toe a little, proving that my weight is in the heel. Now when I bring it to the side, it shifts to center. So I'm centered on the foot. Now when I lean forward, that weight shifts to the ball of the foot. Okay, so that's a really good one for balance because you're getting all three positions back, center, front. Okay, so let's try it again. You can either place the hand on the chair or without. Ready? Lift. One, two, three, four. Take it side. Two, three, four. Take it back. Two, three, four, and down. Good. Let's try it to the other side. We're getting that concept of weight shifts on thrill. All righty. Here, hand on chair or not. Lift. Two, three, four. Take it side and you're centered. Three, four. Take it back. The weight comes to the front. Three, four, and down. All right, here we go. Right front. Lift. One. Two, three, four, take it side. Two, three, four, take it back. Two, three, four, and center. You see how much better you can do when you understand where your weight is shifting. All right, let's try it one more time. And lift. Two, three, four, take it side. Two, three, four, take it back, two, three, four, and center. Okay, let's do a nice inhalation. Inhale, exhale, and that's class, everyone. Remember, no classes tomorrow, virtual or in person. So, I will see you virtual people Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. chair yoga, and 10 and 11 a.m. in-person only, arthritis prevention and agility, which is an excellent class to complement your balance training. All right, everyone, have a nice weekend.